studio, and Mark Burdick's here at the same time. I know there's trouble. Uh, and that is the case right now, but Jack, <laughs> Coach Paul Tortorella is with you as well. Coach, good morning. Morning. We're going to get Mario Luther on the line with this next. I think people can probably make the connection as to why, and uh, we'll do it all. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS 101.1 FM and AM 1160. It's the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160 on your Thursday morning. And we're doing this in two segments here, I guess is the way to put it. Jack Benedict and Coach Paul Tortorella in the studio with us on the line. Mario Luther from Luther Ford Lincoln. And it's good to have you all with us this morning. Our conversation brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted Best Personal Injury Law Firm in the Best of Indiana County Contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Mario, good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. I uh, start out, let me say this, I apologize. I totally uh, kind of blew it. But anyway, I'm happy that you guys were able to patch it together and that the uh, end cause is going to work out well for the teddy bear. Fund. But again, I apologize to everybody there. Well, we'll get it all done no matter what. And we're going to let Jack explain what you were just talking about. Jack, uh, this is something that is uh, uh, now becoming a longstanding tradition. Oh, yes. Uh, we thank uh, Mario. He's been doing this for a long, long time. When IUP scores $7 per point to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, uh, I won't give the total right now, but uh, Coach and his crew uh, produced a lot of points for us this year, so that helps out Teddy Bear Fun Drive. Really. But it's been going on for quite a while, and, and uh, we hooked up with Mario, or he hooked up with us years ago, and we're glad it's continuing. Uh, Coach, I'm not guessing that that's one of the things you say in the preseason is we need to raise money for the Teddy Bear Fun Drive, but you don't mind the points, do you? No, the points are nice, but anytime we can uh, help and contribute to the charity and uh, help in the community and obviously, obviously Mario – uh, ponying up is, uh, you know, something that we're we're happy to do. You know, you know, we only needed 35 more points in the last playoff game, and we could have kept going and made more money for you. But we kind of ran out of gas there. But uh, you know, it was, we had a great year, and we we produced a, enough points to win the PSAC and win 10 games. And uh, this goes to a great charity. Mario, I know how proud you are of the entire IUP program and how much it means to you. And, and this really is special, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I don't get to see Port enough, but, and, uh, some of the other coaches, Smitty, and, uh, but they do. What, what a great tradition Port since he's been there carry on. I mean, it's just, you look at that program and, uh, you just know, you know, if they don't win the PSAC and go into the playoffs, that's, uh, that's something that, you know, you go, wow, what happened? And as tough as that, you know, that whole PSAC with the other schools. And I just, my hat's off to Port, you know, himself and uh, you know what joe does with the basketball team you know what what better d2 schools are there in the country that every year they're vying for a national championship so you guys and your team there just do a heck of a job year after year after year and it's not once in a while it's one after the other after the other i mean you guys just my hats off to you guys that's a well-run organization appreciate that mario and appreciate your text before and after games also win or lose no, you guys, I mean, they're just guys are good guys. Besides good guys, you just have a machine going there, you know. And uh, congratulations, and I know you guys will keep it going. You just do a heck of a job. And I'm happy to get involved with, you know, with the Teddy Bear Fund years ago when we came up with it. I'll tell you, I think it was back then, Jack. I think God rest his soul was Frank Segretti when I brought the idea. 
and you'll, there's a name from the past, right? Ray Goss. And it was way back. Oh, yes. Yeah, we go back uh, a long way, all of us. And, boy, it's, yeah. produced, it's produced a lot of points, a lot of wins, and certainly for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, the uh, the revenue that's come out of that. And we're, we're happy to do it. And it's uh, it's great when IUP scores and then, you know, okay, the total now is, and it kept on going. We had another tremendous year. We appreciate your help through all Thank these years. Me. I, I, I enjoy doing it and anything we can do, like you said, to try to help and give back to the community. We've been blessed. You know, it's going on, what, 67 years we've been around that area. So uh, a lot of good people, you know, that supported us. And if we can help, it's a small way, but it's some help, you know, anyway. And to tie in with IUP and the program there and tort the job that they do, let alone you guys with the Teddy Bear Fund year after year, the concerts, you're always pushing. I saw the people up in town collecting money on the corner. You know, I just, you guys, to be really, really uh, hats off to both of those programs, the radio station and Tort and IUP. You guys just do a heck of a job. Well, Mario, I, I asked these guys, I, I gave them the total points, and I said, go ahead and do the math and tell me what number you came up with. And it wasn't nearly enough. But I know that you're a businessman, and you know that 379 points times $7 per point comes up to $2,653 that you are giving to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive thanks to the efforts of IUP Sports. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's, I think it's great. And like Torch said, if we could have got just 35 more, we maybe would still be going. But, uh, guys, I enjoy you guys again. Heck of a season. Heck of a season. You know, and uh, – Anything more that we can do to try to help support it? Uh, you know, obviously, I went to school there and then played, and I just, uh, I just think it's a lot of great tradition that Tort and the rest of the people and you folks put a lot of time and effort into that. You know, the radio station ran the broadcast broadcasting. So you know what? Congratulations to everybody, Tort. Another great season, although I know it never ends up unless you win everything. But still, boy, what a, what I mean, to be proud of what you guys do there. It's it's really unbelievable year after in competing with all the other schools. It's just, you guys do just a terrific job. Coach, I know that for you, uh, when, when guys like Mario and other supporters of the football program continue to stay involved with the program, uh, it, it, it's a really special thing for IUP athletics. Uh, and certainly for, for you, it, it must be very gratifying. Oh yes. Very gratifying. Uh, you know, when I first took over as the head coach, our, our theme and our uh, motto was all in, and that, that means everybody. That means everybody, uh, obviously, at the university, uh, everybody in the community. And without our donors, uh, you know, really the bottom line, without our donors, this wouldn't be possible. Uh, we could not continue uh, to win the way we do and have the success that we have without our donors. And uh, that's a big part of it. You know, sometimes uh, – People don't realize that, but at the Division II level, that's a major part of, uh, of you know, having a chance to compete and win, and then you've, you've got to do your job also. But without the donors, it, this doesn't happen. Jack, you've seen that support from folks as well because it's, uh, it's, it's an amazing thing. That, and I know that when you get to the Crimson Huddle uh, or you show up for a ball game and you run into people, uh, it doesn't matter if you're here at home or if you're, uh, on the road somewhere, you're always going to run into former IUP football players and IUP supporters who are just yeah. are always there for the team. You know, and it's Coach uh, has mentioned too, Division Two is tougher than ever, and you need that support. Hawk Talk is gone. People there, uh, yes, on the road. We've got a great following. We had good crowds uh, for uh, most of the season here this year. and You need it. Uh, I mean, uh, you just have to keep working at it. And what has been produced here by the IUP athletic teams is just amazing. And, and I'm so blessed because I get a chance to watch these games and broadcast these games and I get in for free <laughs> and look at the success. <laughs> you know, we talked, coach said about 35 more points. Well, you look back, it's a great year, 10 wins. You don't, just don't take 10 wins for granted. You know, you got to work for that. And the basketball teams, what they're doing now so we thank uh, everybody out there, Mario and, and everyone else, that really helps out this these programs because it takes a, a lot of effort and a lot of money yeah. to do it. And it's interesting to me as well that the way that the support manifests itself. For instance, uh, 
Uh, Coach was talking a moment ago about uh, how these people all come together to make this happen. Mario, I know that uh, uh, probably not a lot of people realize that uh, you're, the golf tournament uh, where you provide uh, the wheels of support, uh, providing cars for people, uh, that, you know, people might think, oh, that's just a little thing. It's not a little thing by any means, is it? No, I mean, you know, it, again, it's uh, – no, it's not. You know, uh, the, obviously, not to get into all that, the industry has gone through a big change the last few years, like everybody between COVID and supply chain and the availability of automobiles, although it's coming around. But, yeah, I, I enjoy it. You know, Coach Smith and I are friends, and, uh, uh, you know, we support the team and support it through him too. So these guys can get out, and I know they're beating the push between recruiting – and now the portal, and how much has that changed? Everything seems to evolve. And then I'm sure from the time toward play to coaching now, and now this portal, and like in our end with the auto industry. But I enjoy giving them the vehicle. I think it's for a, a great bunch of guys and just a tradition that carries on and on. And uh, they're just, I'm amazed at how well they do because there's so many other schools out there vying for all these players. I mean, it's just, that's off you toward it. It's, it's got to be, you know, you're going to be out there, I mean, just chasing it hard and selling IUP, the university, the people, you know, the education too, which is great up there. So there's a lot, and if there's any way, a little bit we can help. Small part, but we enjoy doing it for sure. <laughs> Coach, uh, there, Narduzzi yesterday said college recruiting after that national letter of intent. He said it's a mess. Uh, you've got the portal you got to deal with. you got the NIL. He says you got street agents out there. It's a whole different world, isn't it? Yeah, it's really a shame. With, uh, you know, I, I, I mentioned this, uh, I'm, I believe, to Matt Berglund the other day, that the, the true sense of college football is really right now at the Division II level. I mean, Division One football has, has become like free agency. I mean, teams are trading quarterbacks. One quarterback's leaving, they're bringing another one in. Uh, other Division One schools, guys are trying to move up in Division One. They just go in the portal. I mean, there's some guys that have, are now playing for their fourth school. Uh, luckily, at our level, it hasn't come to that. And uh, so we, we, you know, we try to get, you know, our kids in here out of high school and develop them. And you know, we had five graduate tra- uh, five graduate school uh, players that got their graduate degree here in December because they had to. St- stay an extra year because of COVID. So uh, we're, we're trying to do it the right way. And, and obviously, at the end of the day, uh, getting our players to graduate and do well academically and uh, better themselves for the future. I just want to follow up, Coach. Uh, congratulations on the team GPA, right. which was what, 3.11 or yes, something like 3-1-1. that. Yes, and, and to uh, Daryl Davis and uh, Connor Kelly. Right. Uh, you know, they had a 3.8 plus academic all Americans. Academic all Americans. Uh, so, you know, that's a credit to everybody involved in the program. Yeah, and they, those two guys got their graduate degree. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's not easy to get a 3.8 in 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 kindergarten, <laughs> let, let alone in graduate school. So, uh, yeah, tell me about uh, those, those guys have yeah. uh, enlightened me in my life in, in regards to how they do things the right way. You know, off the field also. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Tells you a lot about the character. It really does, uh, Mario. It it does tell a lot about the character of the people that uh, come to join not only the IUP football community, but the entire athletics department. Uh, We're going to have to uh, close it down here very shortly. Mario, again, we thank you so much. $2,653 for the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, courtesy of uh, you and the largesse of your dealership. 379 points. Scored by IUP in the football season this year. That's seven dollars per point. Twenty six hundred and fifty three dollars. Guys, uh, again, I apologize for uh, kind of uh, screwing this up a little, a little bit, but uh, I want to wish everybody, guys, have a health and healthy and safety New Year and a great Christmas with your families. And God bless. Thank you, Mario. We appreciate it. Have a wonderful day today. You too. You guys take care. All right. Bye bye. There's Mario Luther on the line with us here this morning. Uh, Jack and Coach. Remaining in the studio for another minute, Uh, Coach, uh, the uh, recruiting period yesterday, and you watched that stuff, I'm sure, and uh, and, uh, while you are in a different world, it's something that you keep your eye on because uh, you're you're always looking, aren't you? Yeah, and I mean, you can't not see what's what's happening. Uh, You know, it's amazing. High school recruiting, like the signing, the early signing date yesterday, 
is not anything like it was in the past because with the portal, you know, instead of signing 20 high school kids, the Division ones are probably taking 12 guys out of a portal and only signing eight high school kids. And that kind of filters down to Division two. I mean, we we brought in 31 freshmen last year. Yeah. And I, I said uh, probably eight to ten of the kids we recruited last year, if it was the old days and there was no portal, we may not have been able to get involved with them. Uh, because so, so many of the, especially for us, the FCS, the one double A schools are heavy in the portal and not recruiting as many high school kids. And it's unfortunate for the high school kids. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they have as many opportunities now to sign, uh, especially in Division One. So it filters down to Division Two. So it does help us out a little bit uh, in regards to the late signing date, which we go by in the first Wednesday in February. There's more. High school players available now, unfortunately, I mean, fortunately, but unfortunately because of the portal. Yeah, absolutely. All right, uh, gentlemen, we are out of time this morning. Jack, okay. Coach, thank you both for being with us. $2,653 to the Teddy Bear Fund Drive, courtesy of Luther Ford Lincoln. It is the voice of Indiana County WCCS, 101.1 FM and AM 1160.